What if you walked into your favorite fast food place and instead of chicken and beef burgers, they only had woolly rhinoceros on the menu? Well, it may not sound very appetizing now, but thousands of years ago, our ancestors relied on the woolly rhino for its meat. Wait, not familiar with the woolly rhino? Well, that's because this huge hairball has been extinct for more than 14,000 years. But today, we're bringing it back. What would our world look like if the woolly rhino existed today? Would you and your loved ones be in danger? Or would humans hunt them to make delicious rhino burgers? This is What If, and here's what would happen if the woolly rhino never went extinct. Okay, strap on your snow boots because we're going on an adventure to the wintry world of the woolly rhino. The woolly rhinoceros lived during the mid-Pleistocene epoch, two million years ago. Other animals around at that time included the woolly mammoth, saiga antelope, and bison. The woolly rhino survived several ice ages, including the last ice age, and only went extinct about 14,000 years ago. This means that the woolly rhino lived alongside humans for quite some time. But we'll get to that in a bit. Woolly rhinos were about two meters tall, about the average height of an NBA basketball player. However, they would range anywhere from three to five meters long. For reference, that's about the size of a large canoe. Yeah, these were large lumbering beasts. Imagine being late for school or work and coming across a woolly rhino lying down in the middle of the road. That would add hours to your commute. Yeah, good luck getting that out of the way. These rhinos were heavy, weighing up to 2,700 kilograms. That's comparable to the white rhinoceroses of today. It would take dozens of really strong humans to lift them off the road. And with their two really long, sharp horns, they'd unintentionally be puncturing a lot of tires. These two huge horns helped them forage for food. As herbivores living in the colder regions of Northern Asia and Europe, they used their horns to scrape under the snow until they were able to get the vegetation buried underneath. If they were still around today, it's possible we could use this skill and train woolly rhinos to shovel snow off our sidewalks and driveways. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't these huge animals be a threat to humans? Well, that's pretty unlikely. Despite their size, woolly rhinos weren't violent creatures. It was unlikely they'd attack each other, let alone another species. When confronted, they would scrape their horns against the ground to try and intimidate their opponent to back off. So, unless you're afraid of loud noises, you'd be safe. Now, as I mentioned earlier, woolly rhinos lived through and beyond the last ice age, existing at the same time as early humans. As the climate became warmer and the types of vegetation they survived on disappeared, it would have been harder for these huge beasts to survive. But some of the other mammals who survived the ice age, like the musk ox and the reindeer, were able to adapt to the warmer climate. Who knows, maybe if the woolly rhino had survived, you'd be singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rhino during the holidays. Climate was just one of the problems these furry rhinos faced. Early humans were using them for food, and we were using their fur to keep warm and using their horns to make spears. Anthropologists believe that overhunting of the woolly rhino is ultimately what caused them to go extinct. Scientists even found that our Neanderthal cousins used to dine on the woolly rhino with a side of mushrooms. Maybe they had a recipe for rhino stroganoff. Eating woolly rhino would have been popular in Siberian regions, as there were large concentrations of them there. But because this meat was pretty dense, it would have been tough to chew. If we were to eat woolly rhino today, it would be best prepared like a steak, but make sure you ask for it thinly sliced. Otherwise, your jaw will be in pain from all that munching. One of the other things our ancestors used woolly rhinoceros for was their fur. It would cover them and keep them warm in the northern climate. If these hairy beasts were still around today, do you think we might do the same? Make coats from their fur? 
Would you even be able to afford it? Well, the likely answer is yes. If you can find a fur coat today, it's usually made from the fur of smaller animals like mink, fox, or chinchilla. Because the woolly rhino is so big, there's an abundance of fur to spare. More fur makes more coats and drives down the cost. You could save a lot of money buying a woolly rhino coat instead of a mink. And with the hair left over, you can make some fancy wigs or decorate the couch in your living room with some furry pillows. Fur exports from countries like Russia and Mongolia would generate a fortune, more than they do already. Right now, Mongolia is the world's top fur exporter, making $325 million without selling a single woolly rhino coat. Well, just imagine how much that would increase if they had access to these huge fur-bearing beasts. The rhinos would likely be kept in massive fur farms to increase production and sustainability. Now, similar to other species of rhinos in the world today, the woolly rhino might be hunted for its horns. But they would have some people in their corner advocating for their preservation. You'd also likely see anti-hunting groups attempting to save the woolly rhino. Now, if you live in North America, it's time to get excited. For the first time ever, you could live alongside the woolly rhino. Unlike their mammoth counterparts, the woolly rhino never made it to North America as they couldn't cross between Russia and Alaska. But now there are plenty of ways to transport them overseas. In the same way that polar bears live in zoos, well, the woolly rhino would live in an artificial habitat created just for them. This means chilly temperatures and lots of vegetation around. If you're lucky, they might even let you feed the rhinos. Just be careful not to get too close to their horns. The woolly rhinoceros were friendly animals that could easily live alongside humans today. With climate change, they might have evolved to have slightly less fur, but we could still have used it for stylish winter wear. They might wander among us, or we might relegate them to the zoo, but either way, I'm calling Rent-A-Rhino to help me shovel my walkway. And don't forget those delicious mushroom rhino cheeseburgers with fries. Having the woolly rhino around today would be a pretty big change, but you know what would be even bigger? Literally? If the woolly mammoth were still roaming the earth. But that sounds like a story for another What If.